Today we are going to talk about new linebackers coach Roy Manning and all that's coming up after the bump. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ! What's up, kinfolk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. Consider it in like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today we're going to talk about new Oklahoma linebackers coach Roy Manning. Roy Manning is going to ostensibly fill the gap left by Tim Kish, who retired from coaching earlier this month. After 43 years in the game, Tim Kish brought folks like Kenneth Murray Jr., brought folks like Curtis Bolton, brought folks like Deshaun White to Oklahoma. But more than that, Tim Kish's scouting eyes were just ridiculous. He was the first guy to lay eyes on Spencer Rattler and bring him to Lincoln Riley. He was also the first guy to lay eyes on on Mark Andrews and bring him to Oklahoma. So from Arizona, Tim Kish was able to go in there, not just identify guys, but also help get them to the University of Oklahoma. That is an extremely hard thing to do. Kudos to Tim Kish, who did it well. Now with Roy Manning, what do you get? Well, you get juice. You get pure energy. If you go back and check a few videos that I've made, making mention to Roy Manning, you'll see that this guy is pure energy energy and a linebacker like you read about and why not he played linebacker at the university of michigan where he played through five years was fifth year senior went into the nfl made his mark more as special teams played on five different teams and was flying around the football making tackles now he got his start as a grad assistant at michigan then coached running backs and linebackers in the secondary over at cincinnati at michigan and then in 2015 at Washington State, and this is where the Alex Grinch connection is. When Alex Grinch took over the defense for Mike Leach and the Washington State Cougars, they weren't very good, and then Grinch and his staff basically made them a top 30 defense overnight. We've talked about Alex Grinch and his emphasis on speed, being multiple, flying to the football, playing with effort, but we haven't talked about in his three years as the play caller at Washington State, averaging 25 turnovers a season. That's 25 takeaways. Oklahoma had just 11 last year. Now, with a guy like Roy Manning on his staff, he can help mold the defense into the kind that he wants to change the culture from one that gave up 700 yards to West Virginia, that gave up at least 40 points in six games last season, into one that flies to the football, thinks about turnovers, and can tackle. And I think Roy Manning fits in best as an outside linebackers coach coming from UCLA. You'll remember that UCLA is on Oklahoma's schedule, so he'll bring intel from that standpoint, having played against Oklahoma last year and playing against UCLA this year. So that's one. Second one is his outside linebackers group was really good at Washington State. In his first season, that group accounted for 26 and a half tackles for loss and 12 sacks. And then at UCLA, he had one of the better linebacking recruits in the country in Jalen Phillips, which is a guy that Lincoln Riley singled out at the UCLA press conference way back when in September as one of the guys who you have to watch out for on that defense. And Jerry Azanaro was really good at putting a 3-4 on the field that could pass rush, get after the quarterback, and I think they're going to be a lot better than folks think in 2019. But Roy Manning was one of the folks that he wanted to get when Alex Grinch made his leap from Washington State to Ohio State, that dude went south, so he's also bringing with him California recruiting ties, which is huge because that's another guy on the staff who hasn't just recruited the West Coast, but actually worked in the Pac-12 as well. So you got a guy who's got tremendous experience in the Big Ten, tremendous experience in the Pac-12, and an NFL veteran. That's the kind of guy that you want to see help raise up guys like Nick Benito, guys like Caleb Kelly, Ryan Jones, Jalen Redmond, Ronnie Perkins, depending on whether or not they make him a down defensive end or an outside linebacker, this is an outstanding hire for Oklahoma and Alex Grinch. I expect to see one, maybe two more coaches hired here, perhaps a cornerbacks coach and another linebackers coach. We have some leeway if you're talking about Roy Manning because he can coach inside and outside. He's even coached running backs in his career. Another guy to watch out for is Zach Spavadol, who is the defense coordinator at Texas State right now. After being fired when Texas Tech was fired, the whole staff, Cliff Kingsbury, as the inside linebackers coach at Texas Tech underneath David Gibbs and co-defensive coordinator, Zach Spavadol might willing to take the position coaching job at Oklahoma if he was offered it. We will see. All right, that's it for me. Deuces.